Hey, welcome back graduates. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to add another amazing uh, converting feature to your store, and it's a wish list. Now, a lot of you are using apps which, they're great. You know, they, they allow your customers to add things to an item and you know purchase later, but if you haven't noticed, apps do cause load on your store. I do believe Shopify is, you know, has, has been working hard to try to optimize apps, but they still cause excessive load to your store, and you, you, just, you should just honestly add the feature to your store. Uh, you know, have it developed into your theme or follow this awesome video to add it yourself. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to show you how this works. Um, so right here, you're going to notice on Dawn theme, again, this is Dawn theme. Um, that's what this is for, not other themes. It's for Dawn. Uh, you go in and you'll see a heart. And all you got to do is click the heart. And boom, just like that, you see this little heart show up here with a one. And there you go. You have a little wish list option. And just to show you when you refresh, it's still there, so this is still highlighted, and this is still highlighted, and it's, it's everything's there. So when they come back, and you know, say you're running a sale, maybe you send out an email newsletter saying, "Hey, this product, you know, X, Y, and Z is on sale." They're going to come back and have easy access to the wish list, um, you know, showing that that that's what they were interested in before, and it's on sale, and they're just going to go and purchase. Very, very, and then that's actually what a wish list is for. It's it's to get your customer to know about sales, go back easily uh, access the, the product and just purchase without any hesitation. That's why wishlists are, so, are so powerful. A lot of people you just add them to the store just to have them because they think they need to without understanding what the purpose of a wishlist is for. That, that's what it's for. Um, and uh, also guys, last video we taught you how to add the spin the win option to you know offer discounts. So go check that video out if you're interested. You know, it's another tutorial. But anyways, let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you how to use this. And as always, we're gonna use our uh, Dawn latest dev theme, so I'm going to preview that, and you'll notice we do not have a wishlist feature, and we're just going to go do that right now. So as always, when you purchase the file, you're going to have a step-by-step -step tutorial right here. You just have to open the file, follow along, and make sure you pay attention to the video. You're going to want to watch this entire video through the entire, the, the entire length, because there is a certain situation that you may be presented with, and I'm going to teach you how to fix that. So. If you're skipping around and you email me saying, hey, I'm having this issue and it's this issue, I'm gonna say, hey, go watch the video again, all right? Uh, we're always here to help you. You guys send us emails, we fix those bugs for you, but if you're not following the video, that's on you, okay? It's on you. You heard it here first, it's on you. Not me, you. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go here and we're gonna also edit the code. And as always, guys, if you don't know how to get to your themes, some of you don't know how to get to your themes, I'm sorry. You log in, you see this dashboard, you click online store, you find the theme you want to edit, and you go here and you edit the code. Easy. All right, so let's close out all these so there's no distractions. So the first step here is to add the section file. So we're going to go to sections, go to sections, and then we're going to add a new section. And what you're going to want to name this, let me just get that back open, is you're going to want to name it EG Wishlist Drawer. Just like that. So we'll copy this, copy this text right here, and we're going to paste it in here, create a section. And then you're also going to have a folder with all the downloads, as always. If you haven't, if you haven't purchased our other uh, snippets and, and sections, then you should do totally do that. You know, go to our website, purchase them. Um, all right, so now let me go here, and here we are. So we're in the wish list uh, feature right here, wish list cart drawer. And you just open that in your, in, a, in your text editor. Open it in Notepad, Notepad++, VS Code, whatever you want to open it up with to access the files. All right? And if you're using ThemeKit, you could just easily upload it. So I already have it open. We're going to copy the entire code. We're going to go here, paste, hit save. And we're going to close out of that. So we, we copy the code over, we paste it in there. Now, the next step is you want to go to your layout, theme.liquid. So we're going to close out of sections close out of the sections here and we're going to go to theme.liquid and now what we need to do is we have to find the footer so the easiest way to do that is you go here do control f or command f type in footer just like so all right now we're going to paste this at the very end i don't know why this keeps closing on me the very end so right here you copy this no wrong thing you copy this section Move that over, and we're going to place it right below. Now, if you don't have the spin to win feature here, um, don't worry about it. You can go purchase that. Click the link right here. 
um, but we're gonna put it right at the right below it, right? But in your case, if you didn't, if you don't have eg spin the win, you would just it would look like this, just like that, except without these weird characters, because apparently I can't copy and paste, right? I can develop, but I can't copy and paste. All right, so eg wishlist drawer, but I'm gonna revert the changes for my own use, and I'm gonna hit save, and that's it. Now the next step. Uh, so we're done with theme.liquid. Our next step would be to open, we have to find the file main hyphen product. Now, again, there are some differences. So this is a, I believe this is an older version of Dawn and the other version is newer. And I'm just showing you that there, there are differences between Dawn versions and I'll, and I'll explain why um, and how to identify that in a second. So we're gonna go to our uh, sections. And we're gonna find main.product. There's main.product right there. Now, I'd notice in some Dawn themes, it's product hyphen main. In this case, it's main hyphen product. No issues there though. Um, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the top of the file. Now, I have here where it says, you know, look for section class page hyphen width, but in this case, we don't have this, right? This is a theme that doesn't have this option. So you're just gonna find this section. So you're just gonna look for the first available section on here. And as we hit enter, no, what we, I'll show you what to search for. So you search for this section. And you should only realistically have, oh, okay, for some reason you don't have two. I don't, I don't know why. Weird, I guess there's only one, there's no closing section over here. I don't know, but it's just this first line right here, honestly, just, just copy that. So, get back to the tutorial, and we're just gonna replace it. So we find this, and then we re replace it with this. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy that, and we're just gonna replace this right here. Hit save. And now we're gonna close out a main product, and we're also gonna close out a theme liquid. And now the next step is to find us uh, in your snippets folder. We go to your snippets, and you're gonna look for product card right here. And it could be card hyphen product, but in our case, it's product hyphen card. So you know, make sure you take note of that. Product card, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're actually gonna replace this line right here. I told you guys, we, we make this really easy. We want you to make money, we wanna make it easy. Time is everything, right? So now, we're going to replace it. So this right here, if you can see the, the relationship here, card wrapper, card wrapper, we're gonna copy this line right here, the very last line. Now this is where I'm glad you followed along. Thank you so much. You listened. You're here with me. I'm going to show you a secret that a lot of these people who are watching this video aren't paying attention, but you are. You're here with me. So here we go. Ready? Check this out. Now, on newer versions of Dawn, they use card underscore product, but in this situation, they're not. I don't know why, but they're not. So you see how right here, product underscore card underscore product, and this is card underscore product. Well, guess what? We're just going to do this. We're going to do old switcheroo. We're going to move it right here and hit paste. And now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it like this and I'll show you what the error is. We actually have an error for you to see. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to ins... Really? Shopify? Really? You're going to do that to me? Let's preview this again because Shopify doesn't like me. All right, so now, watch. I'm going to try and click this button, and it won't work. It's just going to error out. And here's why. You see this right here? If you inspect element, and I'm gonna show you that one more time slower, you right click on the page, inspect element, and if you're on Chrome, you just click on console, and you'll see this right here. You have not correctly implemented the wish list. Now this is a clear sign that you didn't follow the tutorial of the video. We will still help you, but I'm probably gonna say, hey, go look at the video, all right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll fix it for you. Um, but here's why it's not working, watch, it's magic. So on older themes, or newer, I'm not really sure, you just replace that, hit save, and now we're just going to refresh the page. And you'll notice, you no longer have a message saying, and ignore this, this is just my browser, this always happens. Um, we have a little extension that helps us out. But it, that message is gone, and everything will work fine. And you'll see here, boom, just like that, it worked, it worked, it worked. But if we go and remove this code, and we revert it back, and we refresh, we refresh, we refresh, right here, you're gonna get this error message. 
you have not correctly implemented the wishlist changes. And the reason why this is showing up for me uh, right here is um, it's because I have these already in my wishlist. Now, if, you're, if you don't have anything in the wishlist, and you come back and you refresh the page, the error is still there. So you will automatically know something's wrong, it's not configured properly, so just get used to looking at your console. You can really understand what's wrong with your site by looking at the uh, console log, but that's for another video. So that is how you guys can install an amazing feature to your store that will help you and increase sales. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please actually like the video and subscribe. Click the little ring bell. It's, it's what helps us grow the channel. It's what helps us produce more code snippets for you and you know, record videos like this. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.